Our print has finished printing out of our standard inkjet printer. Now it's time to take this print and load it into the cutter so that we can go ahead and cut around that image. Now if you're doing this with scissors, you would have to use a pair of scissors to get around every intricate detail to remove any excess white. That's why this is such a time saver for you. When we come to the cutter, as we're loading it up, we want to set the pinch rollers, as you've probably learned earlier, on top of the white marks, so that indicates the grit rollers. And we're going to load that paper such that the rollers themselves are on the, near the edge of the paper. And a real key ingredient when you're uh, loading the paper into the cutter is that you try to keep it as straight as possible. So what I use is this bottom edge of the paper. I align on this flat to beveled edge so that we have a nice straight line that is very even that we can line this up on. I'm gonna, I've got it lined up. I will close the pinch, pinch roller by dropping the lever down. On the control, you will see that it asks for a select sheet or roll. Roll is selected. In this case, it's just fine to choose roll, or you can use sheet, but roll is fine because the optic eye is actually going to supersede the size of the page. It's going to search for those uh, crop marks. I simply hit enter. Now, as with any product, you're going to want to make sure that your uh, blade is set the proper depth. And at this point, I would typically just go ahead and do my test cut as you would on any vinyl material on a blank piece of the page so that you don't interrupt your design. I've already set this one and it is good to go. And you need just a very minimal amount of blade. The only other step that we would do prior to uh, starting this cut is advance this material forward just enough that these black dots, these two registration marks, are on top of the cutting strip. This is just going to save some time as it begins to search for the uh, crop marks. Cutter is set up. The image is in the uh, cutter now. Now we're moving to back to the software. I will simply choose cutting. Cutting is the um, key here, not the word cut. That's part of the design works, but cutting is when you're actually sending to the cutter. Looks like a print screen. We're sending cut all. Only thing that's going to go to this uh, particular uh, image is going to be the vector art line. So here we go. Say OK. At this point, the optic eye is searching for the crop marks. It's found its first registration mark now. It'll move to the third one, or the second one, and then the third to follow. And the cutting process begins. It's completed cutting. Now we just simply open up the uh, pinch rollers by lifting the lever, take out the print, and now we're going to weed away the excess white. If this were a very simple design, I would probably just simply take this image and peel it off, but I'm not going to run the risk of making any tears, so I'll just simply use my weed tool, pick up a corner of the uh, membrane that's on top and leaving the paper on the back, and peel away the excess white. White is peeled away. At this point, um, when we're ready to apply to a shirt, all I need to do is just start it and peel it off of the backing paper. Be careful in any particular corners just in case it would stick a little more than it should, but in this case it's coming off nicely.
Now it's ready to apply to a shirt. Typically this shirt would just go on the heat press. We would lay this image on top of the shirt and simply heat apply the image down. Cover with, a, with the uh, silicone paper and a Teflon sheet. You've got a nice full color image that is very durable and ready to sell.